name is Maggie Moy and this is the Ivy Lodge. My husband Terry and I own and operate this bed and breakfast in Newport, Rhode Island. It's always been our dream to do this and we do it in style with a few key staff members and a little help from our friends at Microsoft. I'd like to show you how we use Microsoft Office 97 to help us run our business. Our lodge is an original and we like to preserve the flavor of yesteryear for our clients. However, to reach those clients and grow our business, we need the technology of the 90s. And that's where Office 97 comes in. We use Office 97 to keep track of our client base, send mailings to past clients, and stay on top of schedules with Outlook, the new desktop information manager. Get help when I need it using the Office Assistant. Create and maintain our internet site with Office 97's internet ready capability. And promote our business at trade shows using PowerPoint's presentation tools. We've created the files we'll be using for this training. You won't find these on your computer. We have lots to show you. Let's get started. In this lesson, connecting with Office 97, you'll learn how to send a document via email, merge a Word document with contacts in Outlook, and use the Office Assistant. Sharing information and getting connected with Office 97 is easy and fun. We rely on Outlook to help stay organized and connected to our clients. We can keep track of our schedules and stay in contact with our customer base. We can even create a document in Word and automatically send it to all of our customers using a mail merge or mail it electronically to them on the internet. Staying on top of things at the Ivy Lodge really keeps us hopping. The day-to-day -day challenges and the enormous number of things to remember can sometimes be intimidating. Stay tuned and I'll show you a few of the tools we use here at the Ivy Lodge to stay connected. In this topic, reading and sending mail, we'll take a look at Outlook, one of the newest additions to Office. We'll start Outlook by double-clicking its icon on the desktop. When we do, Outlook starts and the assistant, Clipit, displays and offers his help. Clipit is always available to answer our questions and offer tips and hints as we work. Isn't he cute? He's just introducing himself now. We'll OK his message and ask his advice a little later on. Right now, our inbox is shown and we have new internet mail. In order to send and receive files on the internet, you must have an internet provider and your computer must be set up to call in for your mail. Once this is done, Outlook can take care of the rest of it. Double clicking on the message opens it. Oh, it's from someone asking for information about the Ivy Lodge. The message window includes buttons for replying, forwarding, and printing messages. We'll reply to this message and send a Word document that includes information about the Ivy Lodge, a sort of electronic brochure. Clicking on the reply button opens a new message window already filled in for a reply. I'll enter a short note thanking them for their interest and attach an electronic version of our brochure. We've been getting a lot of requests for information since we set up our new website on the internet. It's so exciting. We'll use the insert file button to attach our brochure. It looks like a paper clip. When we click on it, the contents of the My Documents folder displays. Each document is represented by both an icon and its name. We'll select the Word file, Ivy Lodge, click on OK and it appears in the body of the message, ready to go. When we click on send, the message is placed in our alt box, ready to send the next time we sign on to our internet provider. We'll close our original message by clicking on its close box. The inbox updates to let us know we've already read this message. That was simple. I'll be back soon to show you more ways Office can make your job easier. In the meantime, why don't you practice sending and receiving messages on your computer?